Hi, welcome back to Educator.com. This is the lesson on the urinary system. The functions of the urinary system is not just as simple as making urine and getting rid of it. I mean, that is the primary function. Uh, it's the removal of metabolic waste. That's really what urine contains. Um, solid waste, of course, would be in, in the fecal matter, which is part of the digestive system in terms of getting rid of it. Uh, but here is, is all about filtering blood and getting rid of metabolic waste out of your bodily fluids. In addition to that, you have the regulation of blood volume and blood pressure. Your kidneys actually secrete hormones in response to how much blood is flowing through them, the, the pressure, either the you know, lack of fluid or too much fluid, and that has an effect on your blood pressure and blood volume. Uh, it also regulates plasma concentrations of various um, electrolytes, various minerals like sodium, potassium, chloride, etc., because it's going to get rid of more of those or less of those through urine, depending on how much you have. And it also helps to stabilize blood pH. Um, in addition to getting rid of stuff like sodium or hanging on to it, um, hanging on to H+, plus or getting rid of H+, plus, these hydrogen ions, that has an effect on pH. In addition, uh, bicarbonate ions, uh, which has an effect on the alkaline levels. So if you know enough about pH, um, you know, hanging on to this would actually make the blood slightly more acidic. Getting rid of this would actually make the blood slightly more basic. And the, uh, the normal pH for blood in the human body is 7.4 on the pH scale. That's slightly basic. It also conserves valuable nutrients. You want to hang on to certain things in your bloodstream and not get rid of them. And that comes down to kidney function. So when we look at the different organs and tissues of the urinary system, there are four main players. Uh, here's a little drawing of it. You've got the kidneys, of course. They look like kidney beans. Uh, this is the left kidney. This is the right kidney. The left kidney is ever so slightly higher. Uh, the right kidney is a little bit lower because of the liver uh, kind of hanging down over it. So, you know, it's normal to be born with two kidneys. Um, there are the ureters, which are these tubes that take um, recently made urine out of the kidneys to a temporary storage spot known as the urinary bladder. Just calling it the bladder is not sufficient in anatomy because there's also the gall bladder. Uh, so you want to specify that this is the urinary bladder. And then the urethra. Uh, the urethra is that tube that finally takes urine out of the body. And uh, it is, of course, longer in males, shorter in females. I'll discuss that more later. All right, so when we look at kidneys, uh, these amazing organs that actually uh, make urine, you do have two kidneys uh, on either side of the spine between the thoracic uh, vertebrae at the bottom of the thoracic curvature, so number 12, uh, where your last ribs are found, and down to about the third lumbar uh, vertebra, which uh, means that they're only partially covered uh, by your rib cage. Just, just the top portion has some ribs uh, going just posterior to it. And your kidneys actually are very much uh, a posterior organ. Um, there's this term kidney shot if someone, you know, hits you right back there, right under the rib cage, and that kind of impact could definitely damage kidneys. Uh, it happens in contact sports often. Uh, but the left kidney is slightly superior, slightly higher uh, to the right one. Uh, they are held in place by surrounding connective tissue, and that surrounding connective tissue um, includes the peritoneum, and um, it's it's a nice wrapping uh, around abdominal organs that that keeps them in place. And, and there's other neighboring organs um, that help uh, uh, keep them in place. They're reddish brown. Uh, the reddishness, of course, because of the high blood flow. There's a lot of blood uh, going to your kidneys every second of the day. They're about 10 centimeters long, five and a half centimeters wide, and about three centimeters thick, with a mass of about 150 grams each. So here are the the major parts. Let's label these. So the renal cortex. Renal cortex, you see that right here. Um, as with the adrenal glands or any other organ that has the term cortex, that means the superficial outer part of it. Uh, so the, the renal cortex, you're going to see a lot going on in the next few slides in terms of how the filtration process gets started. The renal medulla or medulla, some people pronounce it that way, um, that's a bit deeper, just like with the adrenal medulla. So you can see that these little areas that kind of look triangular, that's really where 
um, most of the medullas going on, and those are called renal pyramids because they do look pyramidal, triangular. So here's a renal pyramid, renal pyramid, renal pyramid. So those make up uh, most of that medullary uh, layer in the kidneys. And this is, of course, a, uh, a cross section, a frontal section or coronal section through a kidney. Um, from the outside, you would not see uh, the, the pyramids um, and, you know, seeing that medulla. So you'd have to cut into it to see them. And then you have these two areas. Uh, they're each calyces or calyxes, um, major and minor. So once you have um, development of urine, it comes out of the medullary area into what are called minor calyxes, and all of the minor calyxes lead to major uh, calyxes. These are the major calyxes here, and then it goes into what's called the renal pelvis. Um, so the renal pelvis, let me use yellow for the, the calyxes, and, and here these are the calyxes. And then the renal pelvis is this collecting area um, right in here. And uh, this other term, uh, the hilum, is kind of that exit region of the kidney through which the renal pelvis empties into the ureters. Um, so renal pelvis is actually at the, uh, the medial side of the kidneys because the kidneys kind of point towards each other and the renal pelvises uh, feed into the ureters, which of course then go into the bladder.